Hello everyone, welcome back. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 5 of your workbook that is water for every household. So are you ready? Very good. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks using the suitable words given in the brackets. Number 1 is to ensure good dash we must have safe drinking water. Answer hygiene. Number 2. Keeping tap on the container prevents dash. Answer contamination. Number 3. We use a dash to take the water and we replace the lid at once. Answer deeper. Number 4. Water does not become dash. Answer stale. Fifth one. Large water source is identified near a dash. Answer settlement. Number 6. Machines used for lifting water are called dash. Answer pumps. Let's see the next one. Question number 2. Write whether the following statements are right or wrong. Number 1. Sami drank water from the pot and left the lid beside it. Answer wrong. Number 2. Nisha waters her plant with the water she has used for cleaning the dishes. Answer right. Number 3. When water comes in the tap, Sai empties her pot and fills it again. Answer wrong. Fourth one, Reshma carries drinking water with her when she goes for a picnic. Answer right. Let's see the next question. Question number three, answer the following questions in one or two words each. Number one, where is drinking water made potable? Answer, water purification. Number two, what is the arrangement made to give water to all called? Answer, water distribution. Number three, on which fuel does the pump run? Answer, diesel or electricity. Number four, what is the best method of taking water from the container? Answer, having a tap on the container. Fifth one, which are the containers that are made from the mud? Answer, earthen pot. Sixth one, which are the sources of water in villages? Answer, lakes, rivers. Seventh one, which metals were used to make pots in earlier times? Answer, copper and brass. Let's see question number 4. Answer the following questions in brief. Number 1. Why do we take special care of water that we use for storing water needed for drinking and cooking? Answer. If we do not cover the pots in which the water is stored, then the dust, dirt and other rubbish may fall into it. The water will get contaminated. Such water causes diseases. Therefore, we take special care of water that we use for storing water needed for drinking and cooking. Question number 2. How does water from just one tank can be obtained at several places in a building at the same time? Answer. The large cement and plastic tanks are installed on the rooftops of big buildings. With the help of pipes and taps, the water is sent to every kitchen, toilet and bathroom in that building. Water can be shut or opened as per the need of every household. In this way, water from just one tank can be obtained at several places in a building at the same time. Number 3. Why is clean and portable water called expensive substance? Answer. When water is distributed to many households, it is purified. It is raised to water towers with the help of pumps. These machines and pumps run on electricity or diesel. For all the work, many people are also engaged. Obtaining potable water involves labor as well as expense. Therefore, the clean and potable water is called expensive substance. Number 4. What are the ways to save water? Answer. Ways to save water. Number 1. Water that has been taken for use should not be thrown away. Number 2. Do not leave the tap open without any reason. Number 3. Reuse the water. The water used for washing vegetables and fruits can be used for gardening purpose. Number 4. 
we need not turn on the tap fully when we rinse clothes or utensils. Open-ended questions number one: Use your brain power. Why have people begun to use plastic or steel containers for storing water? Answer: The steel utensils are easier for cleaning. Even if they are lightly scrubbed, they become clean. They never turn black like copper or brass utensils. The plastic utensils are light in weight and easier to carry. Due to ease in cleaning and carrying, people have begun to use plastic or steel container for storing water. Question number two: Can you tell number one if the rule is for everyone in the house to cook for themselves? What would be the advantages? Answer: Each person in the house will cook the food according to his or her liking. Everybody would understand the importance of work. Everybody will participate in the work. The disadvantages: Answer: Each person will spend time in cooking. More fuel will be used in the process of individual cooking. There would be more expenses and wastage of food. The kitchen would be in the state of chaos and each one will like to cook. Number 2. If every family has to collect the water they need every day from the river, what would be? The advantages? Answer. Each person in the house will bring the water needed for himself or herself. The wastage of water will not occur. The disadvantages. Each person will spend some time in fetching water. Each person will have to do physical labor of bringing in the water. They cannot spend time for other important work as everyone will be busy in carrying water. There would be chaos near the reservoirs or place from where people will bring the water. Question number 3. Can you tell? Number 1. How much water is required in your house every day? Answer. Drinking 5 liters, cooking 5 liters, bathing 55 liters, cloth washing 20 liters, ut utensils washing 10 liters, House washing 10 liters, flushing of water closets 30 liters, total 135 liters per day. Question number 2. Who fills this water? Answer. My mother fills this water. Question number 4. What's the solution? The common tap in the locality is sent dripping all the time. Answer. We should complain to the municipal corporation or gram panchayat. We should take help of elders to call the plumber and get the problem of leaking tap fixed. So children, that's the solution for lesson number 5. Water for every household. Hope you like the video. So if you like it, do subscribe the channel, like it and share it with your friends who need it. See you soon with a new video. Take care of yourself. Bye everyone.